Hi everybody, it's Robin from Southern California and I'm in my kitchen. And yes, those are hummingbirds behind me. I'm going to kind of tell you what's going on with the hummingbirds in the area in Southern California. See if I can get you to see the hummingbirds more than me. They're right out that window. They're out the other window too. Let's see, we've got nests everywhere. So we've got a lot of hummingbirds. I'm going to say thousands upon thousands are now coming through the area here. I do believe that a lot of them are migrating. There's also a lot of nests. I've even got a bird out there that's got two nests. I have never seen that. As soon as her babies hatched and got big enough, she built another nest right next to it. She's sitting on two eggs and finishing up the last two of her babies that are now about ready to fledge. They've been actually leaving the nest and going in and out. But what I wanted to discuss today is the hummingbirds. There's been a new behavior in the hummingbirds. And what it is, I believe that I am now feeding, I have no idea how many thousands of hummingbirds a day. I am making probably three to four times more food than I ever have in the past year. And the year, you know, as the time goes on, the numbers have gotten bigger. But there would be no way that that many numbers can get big. I, I don't know if you can see them, but they're going to start coming in more and more. They're so desperate for food right now. And I do know they have a lot of nests out there. There's also babies out there. But there's also another issue that's going on. And you probably guessed it. Right now, with food being rationed in many stores, there's very little sugar. You're only allowed to buy two packages of sugar at a time in most stores. And when you go to buy, let's say, four pounds or the smaller packages, generally, if you're going to order it and have it you know, brought to you, shipped in, um, they don't have it. I put in multiple orders for small packages, and they simply do not have it by the time the order comes through. I'm good on sugar. Do not worry about it. That is one thing. No matter what happens, I'm always going to make sure the animals have more food than us. That's just the way I am, and that is the way Gary is. So what is going on is, and I finally figured it out yesterday, is I believe now why I'm putting gallons upon gallons upon gallons of food out every day. Literally, those were just filled, and they're almost empty. I can turn the camera around if you want to see them while I talk, but you know, I'll finish and then I'll show you. I do believe that what is happening is the normal people that put out food, you know, in the area that like to feed the hummingbirds, they might put one feeder out or two feeders out. What's happening is they can't get the sugar and they need it for their family. And I absolutely understand that. So they're not putting the sugar out, the nectar for them. And with weed abatement and hillsides cleared, there's very little flowers for them to feed on. They do have flowers. I kid you not. I've got flowers in my garden growing, but it's hard to get enough food for all the hummingbirds, especially when they depend on getting food from hummingbird feeders, as well as hoping people are watering their gardens and planting flowers, which is another issue because this is the time of year that a lot of you here in Southern California and other areas would start going to nurseries, purchasing beautiful flowers, adding new flowers into your garden, and you're just not doing it right now. Like me, I'm on home lockdown, so I'm not going to the store. I haven't been out in two and a half weeks. I am starting to plant seeds to get some flowers going. We have flowers all over the yard. We have a lot of citrus trees that are loaded with flowers and other fruit trees that are now flowering, but it's still going to be very difficult for them. They are creatures of habit, so they will go to an area that they saw feeders before and they're not finding them. But they're also very intelligent birds. So what they're doing is they're coming here because they, they don't flock. Keep in mind, hummingbirds don't flock. See, I've got feeders on both sides. I've got them on the deck. I've got them in the garden. I've got them everywhere. And on the other window that you can't see, there's another window with feeders. What they do is they watch other birds, be it an oriole, be it a hummingbird. It doesn't matter. They watch other birds. And when they see the birds feeding somewhere, I'm here now. When they see the birds feeding somewhere, then they will go there and they'll get food. So they're all here. So that, I believe, is the reason that I fill those feeders. And as fast as I fill them, it seems like within an hour, they're empty. And then I've got to go through all the feeders. I bring them in. I wash them, disinfect them, and put them back out. I am doing the best I can. Um, but I think I'm doing good because I have not let any feeders well, I should say I haven't let the area run dry at all. There's always food out there. 
I do feel for them so. And having two nests at one time isn't helping me, guys. But with that, you know, I just wanted to say, I figured out why I'm feeding so many. And I'll let you see them again. And I do believe that's it. It's a combination of not being able to get the sugar for the hummingbirds. And as well as not being able, you know, you would be going to the nursery now, buying all kinds of flowers and planting in your garden. And now you're probably planting by seed. It's going to take longer, like it's going to take longer for me, because normally you buy beautiful flowers that are ready to go in the garden. So they are feeding more. If you notice you've got a feeder out, and instead of having one hummingbird, you may have multiple, multiple hummingbirds coming. I believe that is part of the issue is they are desperately looking. They're having babies, the ones that are locals, and even the migrating ones that are on their way up north are looking for food. So you may find you have more hummingbirds in your feeders than usual. Um, I have found it easier for me to buy restaurant sugar, which would be 50 pound sacks. So I've got three just ordered the other day. You would think I won the lotto. I was so excited when I got it ordered and delivered. So I am going to be good for a while. I'll probably order more just to make sure I have an abundance of sugar here because the last thing I ever want to do is run out. I do have sugar put away for an emergency in small bags as well. So if you've noticed more hummingbirds in your area feeding for the hum from your hummingbird feeder, that's probably it. That they are looking around because they go to one home that they're used to. You know, and they've always gone to, and it's not there, so they're starting to look around. So that's it. That's the hummingbird update. I'll get more on that unique, fascinating hummingbird that I have never seen like this happen before to build two nests at one time, and now she's going to have four babies soon within a matter of weeks. It's unbelievable, and that has just been really a joy to watch. So that's basically it. Remember, if you want to feed the hummingbirds, it's a quarter of a cup of sugar. And then you mix that into a cup of water. And what I would do if I were you, if you've only got a few, make the nectar, quarter cup of sugar to one cup of water. I have a method of mixing a little bit of warm water in and then adding the rest cold water. And then store it in your refrigerator and put a small amount in your feeders at a time. You know, this way you don't waste it so you don't have to go back in a few days and throw it away if they didn't find your feeders because they will be looking for new feeders. So put a small amount in, enough for them to get some and drink. And then this way they'll have something. And if it takes time for them to find your feeders, then this way you're not throwing away that much. You can take it in, wash it. And if you're new to putting feeders out, just be sure to put it out in the open where they can see it. Once they know you've got a feeder, they'll look around your property to see if there's any more. But put it out in the open so as they fly by, They'll, they recognize hummingbird feeders. They're very, very smart. They'll come down and then you'll have hummingbird in your yard. So with that, have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.